Passionate, ingenious, and humble. Scholar. Tenacious. Impactful. Describing Dr. Nathan in one word is an extremely difficult uh, problem. Uh, he is a paragon of medical excellence. Mensch. A brilliant scholar and a compassionate human. So I guess I need those adjectives. <laughs>Dr. Nathan was a clinician at the beginning of his career and then switched to research trying to answer the bigger questions of how we treat patients and why we treat patients the way we do. He's really discovered two key factors that help to explain why the immune system works. Carl spent the first decade of his scientific career really identifying the molecular mechanisms by which macrophages kill organisms. He did seminal work in the regulation of function of nitric oxide that helps kill bacteria. Carl's uh, research has laid the foundation to an understanding of innate immunity, which is extremely important in control of infectious disease. Well, Carl has been looking at new ways to treat tuberculosis. It's mostly a problem outside of the United States. In 2017, 1.6 million people died of TB. Tuberculosis is evolving to become resistant to many of our best drugs. And Carl has really pushed this area when others have not. His research lays the groundwork for lots of discoveries and in the long run I think has tremendous potential to lead to new therapeutics or even vaccines. Carl really has been a leader in coming up with creative ideas about how to address many of the serious problems we face. He recognized that academia could come up with ideas but was ill-equipped to really develop drugs. We founded the Trinstitutional Therapeutics Discovery Institute in order to develop drugs from out of the community at Rockefeller University, Sloan Kettering, and Weill Cornell Medicine, and then brought in pharmaceutical experts as partners to help us do this. Carl was a particularly strong proponent of this idea that any kind of drug could be developed. He's very concerned about orphan drugs that the large drug companies don't pursue, which he knows are needed by patients. That visionary leadership, coupled with his commitment to social justice, has really been the hallmark of his career. Well, beyond his work with Wild Cornell, Carl makes an extraordinary commitment to selecting the next generation of outstanding young scientists through the Rita Allen Foundation Scientific Advisory Committee. So I'm very lucky that Carl is a member of the Cancer Research Institute Scientific Advisory Council. He's been this for more than 30 years, and thanks to him, we know that we're supporting the best research. So I think this is a man that packs an awful lot into a 24-hour day. His leadership is felt every day by the students, his trainees, the faculty. He shaped my career because he always helped me grow and promoted my independence. I wasn't really sure if I had what it takes to become a PI, and, and I was really hesitant, and he said, you know, give it a shot. You should just explore and do what you love, and he knew I loved science. He just inspired me, and to work my best, to do my best, to learn more, to work harder. He really brings a curiosity about life to his science and his work. And he carries that spirit of openness to finding new paths to solve problems. It's hard to say what his most significant contributions are because he's not done yet. 
he's still going. 